For TraderInsight.com, I'm Adrian Manns, and let's have our daily dose. Let's take a look at how July 23rd, 2014 wrapped up. First off, here is the trading plan for the session. We see we've got a full plate today with around the horn setups and stocks to watch setups and radar setups and, of course, scalper trades. But before we get into those, let's take a look at the sequence of trades that we had over the course of the morning. First hour in the war room. First thing we look at, of course, are the Baltimore Chop opening gap setups. That's the first in the sequence of trades. And what you see here is we had a bunch of them today. So what happened was I chose to focus on exactly the wrong ones in my own trading. And a lot of the guys in the room managed to catch uh, some of the trades that actually went and... Uh, pulled in for a profit. We see that we had ALTR, JNPR, TEL, TSS, WHR, XLNX, BIIB, BRCM, FTI, ISRG, PEP, and RHI all gave us an opening gap this morning. We have 12 of them. So we had a dozen trades to watch. I chose to focus on Whirlpool and FTI. And of course, here is what happened on those. Whirlpool did not give us an entry and FTI, we had to do multiple entries in order to pull a small profit out of that one. Some of the guys in the room took Broadcom, BRCM, a little bit of a lower price stock than what I was focusing on, and boy, did it pay off. So again, on this one, deepest bar in the pullback, down to the low of the opening bar was the initial profit target. That was a 52 cent per share profit, and the stock just kept on going over the course of the morning's trading. That's going to happen. I don't claim I catch every one. I just try to catch every one that I can. And in this case, good for you guys. Guys in the war room managed to grab the trade and made some uh, decent money while I was sitting on my hands trying to wait for a stock that never came in. Wish I would have had a piece of it, but at the same time, I'm glad you guys got to benefit from it. So now let's have a look at the trading plan setups. We see here we had a fastball expansion of range and volume, short side entry on ATI, that's Allegheny Technologies Incorporated, $43.59 on the short with a 44 stop. 43.33 was 50% of the distance to the target, 43.06 was the target. And this one we handled a little differently in the room than we normally handle these trades. So here's what happened on Allegheny. It opened 43.59, triggered, got right down to 43.33. At that point, it's time to move the stop down to break even. And of course, we had a move right after that down to 43.06 that kept going. In the room, we chose to trail stops and talked about how to do that. So when it got 10 cents to the target, 10 cents to the target left us with a 17 cent trailing stop to the 50% to target level. And we use that stop to lock in profits and capture a big chunk of the gain that uh, ATI made as it moved lower over the course of the morning. Next one on the trading plan was Carter Incorporated, ticker symbol CRI. We had a 7216 planned entry on this one, a 7176 stop. 72.43 is 50% of the target, 72.59, 10 cents of the target, and 72.69 was the target. Here's how this one wrapped up. Right, we had a trigger right off the open, got up, hit 50% of the distance to the target. We immediately, when we saw this price level being hit here, ratcheted this stop up to break even. All right, so we moved the 7176 line up to 7216. And what happened? All the way down, would have definitely hit the stop on the trading plan. So the, the rules of the road here kept us from getting a full stop out on this trade. It reversed moved back up through our entry price, got 50% of the distance to the target, once again moved that stop up to break even, got 10 cents to the target, time to ratchet the stop up to the 50% level, and then this son of a gun goes, hits 10 cents to the target again, comes just shy of hitting our actual target price, came down, took us out at 50%, and later in the day, of course, made the move up to the target. That's okay. Follow the rules. Plan the trade. Trade the plan. That's the only way to objectively judge whether or not you are trading correctly. So I was happy with our performance on the session today. Had a break-even stop on CRI the first time, 50% to the target the second. ATI got us all the way to the profit target, and then some. None of the stocks to watch or the stocks and sectors on the radar setups gave us an entry opportunity. We did, however, see some really nice opportunities in a couple of the scalper setups. 
Here's what Scalper looked like going into the session. We had CATM, Cardtronics Incorporated. We had GPOR, Gulfport Energy Corporation. And we had ITMN, Intermune Incorporated. CATM did nothing for us over the course of this session. Those spreads were just way too wide to make heads or tails out of what was going on in that one. Gulfport gave us a nice opportunity for a scalp trade. Let's have a look at that one. If you're only looking at the first hour on Gulfport Energy, then ticker symbol GPOR did you some favors, right? We had the opportunity for an entry right off the opening bell. You'd have to rest a uh, sell stop when you saw where this opened. It opened 57.31 right at an entry line, so what you do is look down to 57.08, put in your bracket order, enter at 57.08, close out at 56.88. We then had this move lower, followed by this reversal move higher. We had this nice check mark, this hook, uh, switch hitter, pullback, kind of an entry, came down through 57.08. This is the one that we called in the room, and we had to move down to 56.88, nice and clean. The rest of these over the early part of the session were hard to figure out. After we were done with the war room, we had this great move up to the pivot line. I know a lot of you like trading those pivots. 57.42 gave you an early entry on a pivot reversal. 57.31 gave you that nice uh, inverted check mark entry. 57.31 down to 57.08. Nice trade on this one. And that wrapped up going into the noon hour where we don't take any of these trades. So GPOR gave us uh, nice opportunities, three of them. Uh, two that were easy to take, one that was kind of tricky on the open. you got to get really used to trading opens if you're going to take that kind of a thing. But uh, the point here is find opportunities every day and get in front of them. And when the opportunity represents something that is going to be both easy to get and easy to manage, then you've got a trade that's worth taking. Now let's take a look at our other scalper candidate. This is ITMN, Intermune Incorporated, and a couple of you managed to grab this one right in that first bar of trading. Got a 4578 entry and a 4617 uh, first target. Then this pullback, which reversed, got up through 4617, and you use the pivot line. That is fantastic, especially for you newer guys. Uh, to be focused in on the pivot line already and got a move from 46.17 all the way to 46.85. Congratulations. That is a fantastic trade. And congratulations to everybody who got it because this early in the game, you know, it is not necessarily the easiest thing in the world to get a trade off right around that opening bell and, you know, let alone getting, uh, getting that first profit target right away. That's exactly the kind of thing that I want to hear from subscribers. So the other thing that happened with this one is that uh, a couple of you are already looking for additional bands of volatility on these and uh, had set up for this trade from 46.17 up to 47.02. Of course, it never came down and dipped below 46.17, so that wound up being a no-go, but that was a good spot anyways. And again, please keep sharing those ideas in the war room with me. I am very, very happy to talk about them. And all you guys who are members of this thing, please don't hesitate. I give you my phone number every single day. You can always uh, send me a text message and set up for a phone call, and I'm more than happy to talk about how to manage these trades. So for TraderInsight.com, I'm Adrian Mans. I hope you had a great trading day on Wednesday and an even better one coming on Thursday. The best trader education anywhere, only at TraderInsight.com. <laughs>